Congressman Michael McCall is the House Homeland Security Committee Chairman, and he joins us right now. Mr. Chairman, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining good us. Good morning. Your Thanks reaction for to what went down at the CIA? You know, I watched the speech. I thought it was very significant that the very first stop of, of this new president was to go see the Central Intelligence Agency to reach out to them, to applaud them for their efforts. He basically said they are probably the most important agency within the federal government in terms of foreign policy and fighting uh, this war on terror, which in his inaugural address uh, said, for the first time now, I'm hearing a president say the words radical Islamist terrorism. That's right. So can President Trump uh, bring the country together and be on the same page inside, you know, externally and internally, in other words, what the public sees and what the people inside see on national security? This is critical. Well, I think if you look at who he has appointed to the National Security Post, he's appointed a very strong team. General Mattis, one of the most highly respected generals uh, in the military, uh, you know, General Kelly, who will be the Homeland Security uh, Secretary. I will be working very closely with in moving uh, President Trump's agenda forward, uh, including the security at the border uh, and other issues like uh, cybersecurity. And then Mike Pompeo, a co colleague of mine, traveled with overseas to the Middle East and Northern Africa, knows the intelligence community, has their respect. Uh, and I think you're going to see a very strong national security policy moving forward, not unlike President Obama, who led from behind for so many years and let the terrorists win. I think you're going to see a, a change now where we're going to start winning against the terrorists. Yeah, it's interesting because President Trump went to the CIA alone. Uh, you would have thought that he, he brings, you know, Secretary Pompeo, but of course we're waiting on the confirmation process. So what's your take on what's happening here with the confirmation process? What, what do you think the timeline looks like in terms of this stalling that seems to be happening uh, within the Senate? Well, I think within the next uh, two weeks, I, I hope. I mean, yeah, particularly the national security posts need to be confirmed immediately. I was glad to see that Mattis and Kelly uh, got confirmed on the day of the inauguration. But to hold up uh, Mike Pompeo's uh, nomination uh, to be the director of the CIA is irresponsible. Uh, there's absolutely no reason why he should be confirmed immediately. It's one of the most important you know, our intelligence community needs to go forward with a, le a leader. So I think it's irresponsible to stop that process. All right, so what do you want to see in terms of uh, executive orders this week as it relates to immigration? I mean, obviously our borders, one of the key topping points, uh, talking points on the campaign trail, and one of the critical issues uh, to the American people right now. What do you want to see President Trump do in the way of executive orders and policy in the coming 100 days? Well, I think you allow, you know, Border Patrol and ICE to do their jobs, uh, to basically mandate that you have to honor a, a federal ICE detainer if you have someone in custody uh, that is under the, ten, the detention of ICE. Uh, that is federal law. Respect federal law in these sanctuary cities. I think is a big uh, step forward. And I think also the thing I'll be working closely with, with Mike, uh, with General Kelly uh, on uh, will be how are we going to secure this border? How are we going to construct this uh, fencing? Uh, he also talked about aviation assets, technology. How are we going to get that border secure down there to stop the, the criminals, the drug dealers, and potential terrorists from coming into the country? I think that's going to be perhaps in, in, from where I stand and where I think General Kelly stands, probably the number one priority moving forward in the next several months. What do you say it is? What's the answer to that? Well, we have a Secure Fence Act. We need to complete that uh, authorization uh, bill that we passed. Uh, we need to appropriate the, the rest of that. But also, I think there are many places where we can erect a very high level fencing, some bricks and mortar, but a lot of aviation and technology assets. I talked to the governor of my state uh, about the Rio Grande River and the challenges uh, that presents, uh, but it can be done. And I think the most exciting thing for us as Republicans is that we don't have this divided government anymore, that for the first time now in eight years, we can actually move forward and get things done like getting that border secure once and for all. Yeah, you have a window of opportunity here. A lot of expectations, Congressman. We'll be watching. Good to see you, sir. You too, Maria. Thanks. Thanks so much, Congressman.